Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to understand absolute versus relative units. Um, the last several challenges all set an element's margin or padding with pixels. Pixels are a type of length or unit, which is what tells the browser how to size or space an item. In addition to PX, CSS has a number of different length units options that you can use. The two main types of length units are absolute and relative. Absolute units tie to physical units of length. For, for example, inches and millimeters refer to inches and millimeters respectively. Absolute length units approximate the actual measurement on a screen, but there are some differences depending on the screen's resolution. Relative units, such as EM or REM, are relative to another length value. For example, EM is based on the size of the element's font. If you use it to set font size property itself, it's relative to its parent's font size. Note, there are several relative unit options that are tied to the size of a viewport. They are covered in responsive web design principles section. So think of it basically like instead of saying that something is um, 20 pixels large, it's 20% of the size of the screen. That's basically what we're talking about here. We're talking about relative versus absolute. Absolute means that it's exactly this size. Relative means it's this portion of the screen. So in this course, what we're going to do is add a padding property to the element with a class with a class red box to set it to 1.5 REM. So here we can see that we already have the margin and they've left us a space here to put it in. So all they want us to do is go padding 1.5 EM. And that makes it so it's relative to the size of the screen. And once we put the 1.5 in there, we should be able to run the tests and it should pass. And that's it. There's a lot more of this to come. Relative versus absolute sizing is very important, and it'll become more obvious in future lessons. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.